Just the phrase, eaten alive, is enough to stop you in your tracks, especially when the thing doing the eating is a giant anaconda, and the item on the dinner menu is a human who's hoping to send a dispatch from the belly of the beast. Although things didn't go exactly according to plan. Here's ABC's Tom Yamas. You're looking at an anaconda trying to swallow researcher Paul Rizzoli. While Sunday night's much-hyped special promised to show Rizzoli get eaten alive, it ultimately left some viewers hungry for more. The two-hour event taking viewers 100 miles deep into the Amazon. Let's get the helmet on. He even had a special carbon fiber suit built for the stunt, made specifically to protect his ribs so they would not be crushed while the snake tries to suffocate him. At one point, Rosoli thinks his arm is going to break. Uh, you guys need to get in here. But in the end, no meal to be had. His team rushing in to free him before he was eaten. Viewers on social media exploding. Some upset no one was really eaten alive, tweeting, Two hours of my life, I can't get back. And this dude's a quitter. Discovery telling us in a statement it was his absolute intention to be eaten alive. But the experiment had to be called when it became clear that Paul would be very seriously injured if he continued on. But Rosoli says despite the provocative concept, he's really trying to shine a spotlight on some of the problems the Amazon rainforest is now facing. And it worked. Despite all the snarking on social media, 4.1 million viewers devoured Sunday night's program. For Nightline, I'm Tom Yamas in New York.